kind of rushing teams. Do you think it's even possible for them to finish out a point in five and a half minutes? We were talking about this in the Michigan State Kenton game. It was about uh, six or seven minutes left, and we both, myself, Ryan Men, and Alex Bomas, all knew that there just wasn't enough time with the way dodgeball is played now for a point to get scored. So I'd be very shocked if either team takes a point here before halftime. That might be something to bring up. Maybe, you know, under seven minutes it needs to be added over to the second half because at this point it's just not enough time to get anything done. Of course, I say that, but uh, WKU players already lining up on the edge. Well, three down for WKU, two down for DePaul. Uh, DePaul, oh, Big Bird trying to make a jumping catch. Just couldn't get it. Nice leg shot by 44, Josh Wynn. Once again, I'm seeing a lot of variety in the team that DePaul's lined up. Some people from the first game, some from the second game, and again, I think a couple of new people. Wow. Number 55 for DePaul, quite the arm. He's had two or three throws and pretty mobile, too. Vic Purnell gets uh, a kill. Vic, not really known for his killing ability, but a nice kill there. Nice, nice catch. catch. by 15. Now, it's okay, we got 335 left. As a coach, at one point, do you tell your team, like, just go? Like, I mean, be play as aggressive as you can. About 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, okay. You really gotcha. can't do any damage at that point. Just let it go. Have fun. Fifty-five with some jukes. Ooh. Nice block. I saw the cross at the last second. Right, and both teams kind of feeling it out again. Ah, hiding on the sideline there. Oh, very nice catch. Was she not out? That was the catch that just got made. I don't know, I don't know her teammates waved her back in. Might have been off the ball? I don't think so. Oh, maybe it was. They're, uh, they're taking, taking their extra man back off for WKU. It was, a nice, it was a nice quick push there. No good throws, though, from Western. But it's nice to see that. That mindset has taken hold got to figure that's probably the mindset that they had and like we said once they got a load of Saginaw Valley State they didn't want any part of it. Uh, I don't blame them. All right, one minute 30 left. Like both teams with nine I believe. Oh wait take that back there's a swing. 10 in for DePaul, 8 in for Western. Uh oh. Not good. Some issues with court awareness there. Might have tweaked a knee a little bit. Forty seconds left. Everett catching a girl. There you go. Counts all the same. Wow. 
Wow, another nice catch. So at this point, 30 seconds left. Western just needs to go ham. But it looks like DePaul's going pretty hard as well. Another catch. Another attempt at it. Oh my goodness, that is really hard to keep track of. Wow. You were you were spot on there. Last uh, last 30 seconds, both teams went pretty crazy. It's always a mad dash. Last 30 seconds. All right, so that's going to put us into the second half with a tied game, one all. Uh, it's being exciting second half. Yep. We'll see you back here for the second half.